Hi, this is Dave in Western Pennsylvania. I work with batteries. I'm a chemistry professor with a university in Western PA, USA. Here's a battery that I've uh, made. And uh, this battery is running an LED. And that LED in turn, I kept the circuit, was popped out of a common garden photovoltaic. The kind you get, I got this one in Walmart, about 2.73 volts, probably about uh, 20 milliamps, 30 milliamps if I had to guess, but right now I have a nickel cad battery that comes with it in there. And what I do is I take the two screws out, pop it out, and uh, in this case, I uh, cut the leads. I uh, use it as a jewel thief alternative. And this small white LED, there is a resistor built into the circuit which I retained. Um, this um, can take you down to 0 0.52 volts for sure, where you'll still have uh, the small white LED lit. Most jewel thieves, they take you down to about 0 0.8 volts. And I use that as a, um, a nice visual load when I'm preparing battery prototypes. Now, the focus of this video really I have a beaker with a solution of saturated choline chloride. Choline chloride is a B vitamin. It's a precursor of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, and it's more soluble in water at room temperature than sodium chloride. And it's almost twice the solubility at room temperature of sodium chloride in water. So I've saturated the water with uh, the choline chloride and I also have zinc nitrate in there. I have a zinc cathode. You can take that of course out of a uh, lantern battery. So there's the uh, zinc in the background. And in the foreground I have a sheet, a rectangular sheet of uh, graphite. You can get this on eBay, they're pretty cheap from China. And what I do is coat the graphite electrode, which will be the anode. I coat it with a paste of manganese dioxide. I'm going to look at activated manganese dioxide uh, in the patent literature. There's a few ways to make so-called activated. I want, I'm curious how it would behave. But anyway, this is out of a Fisher Scientific bottle from the stock room. Elmer's glue all and black water soluble acrylic paint. So I mix up the manganese dioxide with the paint. I add a little bit of water to get a nice paste and then uh, add the glue all and with a paintbrush I slip it right onto the graphite electrode and I let it dry for about an hour. It adheres pretty nicely. One of the things I'm looking at is whether the electrode will crumble and uh, so far it holds up and this is a rechargeable and uh, the choline chloride I'm evaluating as a substitute for ammonium chloride and they, they call them the super, duper, uh, super duty batteries um, the carbon zinc, it's actually of course zinc and manganese uh, dioxide. The manganese dioxide shuttles between plus four and plus three oxidation states. And uh, the zinc forms a complex, well it actually would form the uh, chloro uh, hydroxide shuttling back and forth between plus two and zero on the electrode. But uh, that'll give you an idea of what I'm up to. Thanks for watching. Bye now.